What's good, y'all? Hey, I got one thing to say, man. Make sure y'all get to the money, all right? Get to the money. That is so important. Get to the money, all right? I just thought I'd just say some motivational stuff. You feel me? Because without money, bro, you can't do nothing. But today, we do have Wave Kit for 360 Waves, how to apply a Wave Kit. My nigga, people are applying these Wave Kits to cheat, all right? If you're not using a wave kit, like the video, bro. Let's get into it. Let's see if the wave kit worked for him. And let's see if it didn't. Let's see. Let's see, man. What's up again, everybody? This is Tino. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a wave kit. These are the same things that come in a wave kit. This is the texturizing cream. And then you got the, the neutralizing shampoo. So... What we're gonna do is put this texturizer in. So what this is, is pretty much a lime based relaxer. You just don't leave it in. It's a relaxer. It relaxes your hair to form up 360 waves. As y'all can see, S curl, you feel me? Bro. Long, so the difference between like the texturizers and the relaxer. I got a haircut too. The way you apply it, um, the way you manipulate the hair while it has the, uh, the texturizing cream on the hair. So, and then the next thing you got is the neutralizing shampoo. So what that does is it neutralizes the chemicals in here. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a bowl. So you can see, you know, you know this stuff will turn pink and you wanna see, you know, exactly what it looks like once you get all the, uh, the pink out, it should come out white. So I'll get straight to that and talk through, you know, what, uh, what the product's gonna do, what it looks like before and after, and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. So this is where my hair is at right now. It's not super curly. All right, so oh, look, y'all. It's super curly. It's really coarse. Hold on, bro. We put it go back, man. We put it go back, bro. Let's go back. We'll go from there. So, this is where my. Look at his hair. Look how short his hair is, bro. If you're going to use an S curl, make sure you have enough hair in order for it to work. My hair is at right oh, now. Oh, boy. It's not super curly. Well, I mean, it is super curly. It's really coarse. But. What we're gonna do is see. You can still see your scalp. Lay my hair down. It would if I left it on. It would be bone straight. But I want my my goal is to get my curls to my desired curl pattern. So what I'm doing is lay, we're laying this down for like a 360 wave pattern. So all the natural wavers out there, I, I understand. But I'm showing what this looks like for my clients. So um, what this will look like for me, I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. Some people prefer to do it this way. So if you want to brush and brush and brush, which I'll be doing too, which I have been doing, not you know as consistently or as often as I should, but I am going to show. All right, what come on, man. We gonna get to the video, like. bro. So this is uh for the wave part. All right, so check this Here out. Here we go. Here you go. So we've got our texturizing cream. We got our neutralizing shampoo. Okay. We've got our conditioner. Well, I'm using this one just because it was uh, cheaper one that you can actually get at the beauty supply store and it's sulfate free which you know um, is something that you want to kind of keep away from additional chemicals so i'm right. guessing if any of y'all want to do a, a, a s curl you know if you want to cheat this is what you need to do it all right so i'm pausing it right here so y'all can get all the stuff y'all need find that later but this is the right video for that but what we're going to do is look check this out so this is what this Since looks people like people want to cheat there you go the, the texturizer right with the neutralizing shampoo and what it actually has is a color alarm is what they call it so it just tells you what it looks like when it's uh so that comes out orange right and then when you mix these together you see that it bro ain't no way it comes out it's, ain't it's, no uh, Ain't no way, color. bro. So you want to use this shampoo until it comes out clean, clear, you get white bubbles. So you don't want to get any more pink bubbles once you get get done with this. Why cheat? Just brush so your hair. So what I'm going to do is use this cream. I'm going to apply it with my comb to my hair. I'm going to comb it through to <laughs> the sections that are Okay, of actually, first. how about I just show you what I'm talking about? And then we'll apply it to 
the rest of the section of the hair slowly and as needed. So what I'm gonna do is actually skip some sections in the top of my head and then work around the edges where the hair is more coarse and the hairline. Bro, this is crazy. So I'm just continuing to work this cream through my hair. I'm using the back of the comb to spread it a little bit easier. This is sure crazy, bro. Spots. Disappointing, bro. Brown, this is lash, crazy, man. Just because it lays down a little bit easier than the sides bro, of my head. All these, that. bro. All these hours, months, and years we put into our waves, and people want to take the easy route, my nigga. Right side. We gonna see if it work on him though. His hair is a little bit longer than the other dudes. It in with the gloves. We're going to see if his... Making sure I don't miss any major spots. And then I'm going to just pay attention to how it feels uh, when it processes. I think I'm going to burn his whole scalp. I'm starting to shampoo it out. I didn't wait very long while it was processing just because I didn't want it to over process. And my hair was starting to lay down really quickly. It felt like... And so that's why you see me starting to go in with the shampoo. And I'm making sure that I get all the pink out. See, look, I still got some pink suds in the back. So I'm just going to do this until I get all the pink out. And then I'm going to go in with some conditioner. And I'll talk through that part once I get there. This is crazy, bro. Okay, so I'm finishing up with the shampoo. I'm about to get the rest of the suds off of my neck. So I'm not shampooing, I mean drying out the hair. I just wanted to get the suds off of my neck so I can put the conditioner in without having any shampoo still left in my hair. So as you can see, that's what we're doing here. Starting off with the conditioner. Like that's and not a bad length, So while I'm putting my conditioner but it's in, not a good length, you know? I want to switch over, you know, for when I rinse it out. I just want to brush some of my conditioner through to get the waves to lay the way that I want them to. Just like we did when we do rag it and everything like that, it'll just be easier to manage. So the same concept is like a blowout kit. The same concept. Bro, you know, that looks terrible. Curls. So it looks terrible, you know, man. They're longer. Like the more curls you have, the shorter the hair looks and the shorter it seems. So what I mean right there is the length of the curl overall the length of the hair so the idea with the waves is to stretch the curls out over the or across the scalp so i'm just washing out this conditioner that we brushed and i let it sit for a little while so maybe three or four minutes it's doing too much rinsing out the conditioner rinsing out like you know 80 90 percent of it because it's not necessarily going to hurt the hair before we start to go in with the pomade so that's what we're transitioning into right now. I'm about to grab the pomade and get that started. All right, so the last couple things I'm gonna do is use a light pomade. Bro, look at him. He like, hell yeah, I'm gonna be wavy. Look at him, bro. And brush this and do rag it. Look and at him. Those, it's not I'm the same. Come back and show you what it looks like. It's so not the same. It, 20, 30 minutes. It's not the same, my boy. To show you the difference from where we were before to what it looks like now. And I leaned on the side of not over processing it, so I didn't even really let this sit. I had an extra strength texturizer since I was doing a video and I wanted to go ahead and get some results going. Uh, so I was just really paying attention to, you know, how my hair felt, uh, feeling it start to Feeling the curls start to relax out or kind of uh, lay down and not stand up to the cream that was on it. So when once the cream started to lay the hairs down, I just wanted to go ahead and pretty much get the the texturizing cream out of there because I don't want it to look overprocessed. Oh. Like I, I don't I really see no don't difference. Want it to be or look overprocessed. I don't see no difference. So this was still past where mostly natural look. I don't think anybody would really question, you know like whether or not I use some type of texturizer kit at this point. You did. You did. I mean, the goal is to try to go ahead and make it look natural for your hair and where you are. So, all right, so I'm back. It's been about 30 minutes. Got my do-rag on. 
Uh, the moment we've been waiting for. The moment we've been waiting for. Let's see. The moment we've been waiting for. It feels a little bit softer than me. Yeah, it's uh, a relaxing. A lot more than how it was before. Hey, the wave is there a little softer. bit. I only left it on for you know a few minutes, but if I would have left it on, wave is there a little I bit. I feel like it would have started to straighten my hair out too much, so I needed to be a little bit longer just to get it to where I would want it to be if I had a longer curl pattern. But yep, thanks. You need more hair, bro. That's what it looks like. Another hour later. Looks like after we finished everything. Ooh, okay. After we rag for about another hour. Hey. So the front of my hair laid down a hey. lot. Hey. Okay. Hey. Oh, hey. Way better than be than the other people, but okay, we see the waves, but more than ever. You cheated. It. it doesn't count. You can see that it doesn't it's count. It feels a lot smoother to the touch. The size of my hair laid down a lot more, and this is just an hour or so after having a do rag right on. So I'm. Pretty <laughs> You cheated, bro. It doesn't count. Pretty excited about the results. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> Don't y'all ever cheat, bro. Ever.